All right, guys, today we're going to take a look at Dog and Bones Lock Smart. This is it. Uh, several of you have been requesting this. This lock has actually been on the market for, I think, about a couple of years. Uh, the link you gave me sent me directly to the Lock Smart website, $79.95. And by the way, if you're determined to buy this lock, and I really recommend that you don't, uh, I noticed after I bought it, you can. F there's a guy on eBay selling them for about 35 bucks, half price. Anyway, Dog and Bones Lock Smart, and the big thing about this, of course, is Bluetooth and it's keyless. There's a lot of uh, advantages that are on the bottom here, but let's let's roll it over and give it a chance before I show you how to open this thing up very quickly in at least two different ways. The first thing is it's keyless. So inside of the box, there's a little card you can go on there and download the app. I'm not going to do that because that's an awful lot of trouble. I found easier ways. Because it's keyless and it uses your smartphone, you can also give that app and your access to any number of people for shared access. And of course, the beauty of that, and this really is, uh, this really is a neat feature. You got one lock, you can have a whole bunch of people with access to it. You can tell when they are allowed to access it, what hours, like only during daylight hours, for example. And then when they open it, you know who opened it and what time they open it. And as soon as they open it, it transmits it directly to your phone app. So that, I got to admit, that's really a very cool feature. It also says secure. Now, I think this is where it's a little bit misleading. When they say secure, that really means electronically secure or cyber secure. In fact, on their advertising, they say the cyber security of this lock is comparable to that of a bank. And when you take a close look, it probably is. 128-bit advanced security, the highest Bluetooth security standard. Pretty cool. On top of that, it automatically generates a 256-bit Cloud-generated private key for added security. Now, I'm not going to even pretend to be smart enough to know exactly how to test all that stuff, but I don't need to. They say it's long-lasting, uh, two years. When you take a look at the lock, there's really only one opening, and that is here on the bottom where there's a recharging port. There's a little mini USB port. And they give you a mini USB cable to charge it once every two years. So don't lose a cable. Luckily, it's uh, pretty standard. They say it's tough. And I believe that. That is stainless steel. And then, oddly, they tell us that this is some kind of Zamac 3-Zinc alloy body. Well, we all know what happens to zinc when you apply heat. So I think you guys can pretty well anticipate a future test of this uh, lock smart, but we're not going to do that today. Again, there's faster, faster ways to get into it. And they say it's weatherproof. And maybe, but just to make sure, they throw in what they call an award-winning lock smart weather jacket. It's a silicone condom. So if you pull it out, put the condom on it, and prevent it from getting flooded through these big cracks here on the top. Uh, we'll take a look at that in a minute. But let's look at the lock a little closer. I've already showed you this opening. Let's pull that off all the way to make sure there are no screws or anything. And there aren't. There's no way to get access there. You could probably flood it, but that's not going to do us a lot of good. I'm also going to pull off these rubber things because a lot of times they hide stuff beneath the rubber. And there you go. There are some small slots on the back of here. I don't know what they do. But what I can tell you is this is not a threaded plate. This is all cast as one piece. So I don't know if that's for venting during the molding or what, but it is not a way to get inside of there. Also on the front, I'm going to pull this one off. And it's just stuck on there with sticky tape. And again, it's got the same kind of slots on the front. This also is not threaded, and there's really no way to get in from the front. It looks like what this entire locking mechanism was a module. So they slid the entire module in and then pinned it. So the only way to get it out, and a lot of you guys are going to say, well, that's the access point right there. We're just going to drill that out. We're going to tap it. Or, I'm sorry, we're going to thread it, and then we're going to tap in a screw. We're going to use a slam hammer. We're going to pull it out, and then all the guts fall out. Yeah, you could do that. But there's actually a faster way. I've already pointed out these slots on the top. So that's, that's the obvious attack to me. So let's do it. Let's take a couple of shims. And let's just see if we can shim this. So slide it in from the side, flip it around, slide it in from, get that sticky stuff out of here, from the side, flip it around, and you're 
Dog and Bone Lock Smart isn't so smart after all. You might say, well, these are specialty tools. Not everybody has one of those. Criminal doesn't routinely walk around with those in his pocket. You know what? There's an easier way. And I'm going to show you what it is, but I've got to move the microphone before I do it. So stand by. All right, let's take a look at the no skill required technique. The fact that I was able to take those shims, slide them in there, and push those locking pawls out of the way should tell you that both of them are spring-loaded. Spring-loaded locking pawls in any lock are vulnerable to a technique called the wrapping technique, which I'll show you in just a moment. The secret to the wrapping technique is that you have to maintain pressure on the shackle as if you're trying to pull it out. And I'll do that by holding it in my hand and pushing up with my thumb. By maintaining pressure, when you strike the side of this, and I'm going to use this little hammer, you can use a handle of a screwdriver or you can use a rock that you find located next to wherever you found this lock. So maintain pressure on the shackle and then you simply strike it here. And every time you strike it, those locking paws are going to move around and they're going to move slowly but surely out of that locking groove. As long as you maintain pressure, that spring will not push them back into the groove. If you accidentally strike your thumb and you release the shackle, they're going to pop right back and then you've got to start over. So maintain uh, pressure on the shackle while you attack it with the wrapping technique is absolutely critical. So let's go and do it. I'm going to push up with my thumb. I'm going to take the nylon side and just strike it right here. That way if I hit my hand, I don't hurt it with the metal side. So let's just give, give it a couple of wraps and see what happens. There you go. That's how quick it is to get into the Lock Smart by Dog and Bone. Anyway, guys, it, it's got beautiful packaging. It takes advantage of, of uh, cyber security. I'm sure the Bluetooth 128-bit Bluetooth encryption is incredibly uh, secure, but I have to say I wouldn't call this Lock Smart. I'd have to call this Lock. Anyway, guys, please do not buy the Dog Bone Lock Smart. It is junk. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. Hold on. Before you leave, click that subscribe button. And while you're there, click that notification bell as well. If you'd like to be a sponsor, click there. And for five bucks a month, you get all kinds of benefits. If that's not enough free stuff, hit the Lock Lab. We've got a self-paced lockpicking course with over a dozen modules at the bottom of the page. Join the tribe. Subscribe.